Soji Cole, a university teacher and dramatist, won the 2018 Nigeria Prize for Literature, which is sponsored by NLNG. We recently showed you an interview we had with him after he won the big prize. Here's Soji reading from his award-winning book titled Embers. Embers is a play about uh, some female char characters who are recounting their experiences at the forest of Sambisa. They have just uh, found their ways out of captivity in the forest of Sambisa. So they are at the IDP camp. So the whole play is like a narrative of their previous experiences before they were captured by the Boko Haram boys and their experiences during captivity. I am going to read portions from the play. At this instance where I'm going to read, the lead character, Talatu, who is the mother figure for the young girls, is trying to tell them that whatever life they feel they enjoyed while they were in captivity, freedom is freedom. And the girls are saying no, that in the IDP camp they feel more like a captive than when they were in the forest of Sambisa. So I read Talatu from Talatu. Life in captivity can never be better than life in freedom. Kogo, I tell you that life was better in Sambisa. The men go out to find food for us, but here, the camp people and the soldiers steal our foods. The men in the forest took care of us. They learn to coax us even when they are having sex with us. With time, some of us even came to enjoy it when I have told you that moments of pleasures are no reasons to prefer captivity to freedom. This is where the captives are, Gogo. I feel more like a captive here than in the forest of Sambisa. Every day, we hear the news of what people are bringing to the camp for us. The governor is coming tomorrow and we have prepared another dance for him. He will get on the news again to announce all the things that he donated to the camp. The foreign aid team will come with their own supplies too. They will come with trucks full of goods and they will come to talk to us. They will take pictures with us and with all the things that have been donated to the camp. The newspapers will show our pictures smiling, like we have been instructed to do by the camp officers when the pictures were being taken. But then the store is always empty. The foods, the water, the drugs, and even the mosquito nets disappear immediately their pictures have been taken. None of those things have legs. How did they walk away? The answer is simple. They took them. We have always lived with that. That is why I said the forest is better. This is where the Boko Haram really operates. Look at those soldiers. Every night, they go into the tents to rape the girls. The camp officials also rape us. They threaten us with foods and other supplies if we don't have sex with them. The governor will come here with 10 bags of rice and tell the world that he brought a hundred. Then at night, his driver comes around to pick up one of us. Tell me how this place is better than the forest when all we do here is to kill ourselves and live on the carcass.